Okay, welcome back to part two of this um, script. So, next thing we need to do is um, add in the the code in here instead of echo working. So basically, uh, basically this whole script contains a lot of if statements, which you'll see why. Because we need to go through each individual um, field, adding security checks to this to make sure everything's fine. So basically, we can put um, if str length, which is string length. Um, so if the um, um, so a name, um, and then we can put is greater than thirty. Um, if it's greater than 30, we're going to echo out to the user here. Um, your name is too long. Okay, next check. Um, so basically, next we need to do the username. So, str len um, username. I'm going to put if this is greater than 10 this time. Oops. So if it is greater than 10, we're going to echo out to the user here. Your user name is too long. Um, okay. Uh, um, now we're going to um, do an else onto this. Sorry. Um, so else um, because we're doing the password um, fields we're doing the password checks differently to the username and your name so basically what we need to do now is put this in another in an else for another if statement so if so as you can see it gets kind of confusing um, str len um, password oh sorry no we don't want that we need to check that the um, the passwords are the same first of all so if password is equal to so two equals the same as um, password one we can write our script in here um, else we can put in here echo um, passwords must match uh, so if so that's basically all the security checks now in this little bit here um, um, if the passwords are the same this is where we we are going to now write our code to actually um, connect to the database and um, write write information to the database to store so um, we can put in here then we can now require um, dbc.php um, that's why I'm saying um, look at my login um, tutorial to actually see why um, I've just required DBC, um, but basically DBC just contains the uh, MySQL Connect and MySQL Select DB um, just to connect to the database. So that's just easier to use. We can just require the the file then instead of writing our whole script again. Um, so now we're just going to create a query, um, and it's going to be a MySQL um, query. And basically inside here we're going to say insert into and the uh, database name was users, the table name so it was users as we can see here, users and as you can see up here as well, login is the database and users is the table um, into users and we want the values to be inside these um, um, brackets so we want a we want one for the ID one for the name one for the username and one for the password and um, as you can see by looking here ID name username and password 
So ID we can leave as blank because that is auto increment. And um, the second one is the name, so we can just put in the name there um, and the username. Username. And the third one is a password. But instead of just putting password, we need to put the encrypted password into the database. Um, so now that we've inserted the user's info into the database, um, we can basically just kill the script off here now because it's got no other use. Um, die registration complete um, and then we can put something like click here to log in and just create a um, link around here um, this will go back to index.php and um, put slash a onto there and basically that is your script but we've got one other thing other problem now is um, um, if I just um, once right let me just check this works first of all so um, we've got our uh, completely refresh this page and um, so if I don't enter nothing if I enter something username like that um, in name if I enter more than 10 characters um, and just something like that we get up your username is too long so if I enter um, um, just something like that username ash and um, password if I enter a password here that is more than 15 characters for example or actually um, a password that is not the same we get passwords must match this is where um, we need to now add in um, PHP code into these values uh, because uh, we need to echo out um, to the user um, in here name um, and we can basically just copy this PHP script into there and have this as username we don't want to um, copy the password down because um, we cannot see what the you've typed so they need to type it again if any mistakes and um, so basically if I just resend the data we see how these stay here now and um, find something that's more than 15 characters for example one two three four five six, oh, one minute one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen okay register oops <laughs> that's not went fine and um, let me just see if it's gone into the database first of all um, it actually hasn't at this moment um, so let me just um, this is where uh, we need to check everything now just to make sure so I'm just going to pause the video and check over this script and I'll resume in a minute okay what I found out is that we've missed out the password check <laughs> yes um, so underneath this else here we need a if statement Oops. Um, so basically if the um, str len um, for password is um, greater than 15 or, um, or so we need that one um, yeah, or if str len for password is smaller than 6 and um, we can basically echo out in here your password must be between 6 and 15 characters. Uh, I've put a colon there, so I have a semicolon. Okay, so now if we try this again, if I re. no, not that one. If I um, put in here um, something that's bigger than 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4.
So that's 16 characters long, 16 P's for example. Um, if I click register, we get your password must be between 6 and 15 characters. And we also get registration complete. I will have a look at this now. Um, so, um, let me just have a quick look at that, see if it's gone into the database first of all. Um, no, right. Um, so let me just have a look at the code. Right, another spelling mistake here. The um, the table is called users, but I have put into into user. So let's put an S onto that and let's try it again. Okay, so if I enter a right password, um, actually if I enter sixteen and see if I can copy and paste. Okay, register and we get your password must be between 6 and 15 characters and we also get a password must match um, which it did um, so if I enter a correct password uh, registration complete click here to log it in and it goes back to the login page and let's see if it's gone into the database and it has the ID um, 1 use, uh, I the name is Ashley, username is Ash and we have the encrypted password shown up there um, so now uh, what we need to do is um, it's got something to do with the login page now um, because of so if you open up your login page I remember having to change something in here um, I can't remember what so um, just give me a second to have a look through this code Actually, I think that might be it. Um, I don't think I changed anything else in login. So that is your um, register script. It's all done in one page. It is very basic, very basic um, security checks. Um, if you're going to use this for just a personal website, I suppose it'll be fine. But for, um, let's say, uh, small businesses and uh, such like... Um, I would recommend using a bit more security um, but um, that is perfect for um, learning the learning PHP and um, just getting to know how to actually create a reg register page so thanks for watching and I'll see you in another tutorial